Alright guys, this is just a, a quick update to the issue I had um, a few days ago concerning the um, ATI drivers running in GNOME Shell. Thank you to those of you, thank you very much, who suggested that there are updated drivers to the ATI card, and indeed there were. Um, it did help, but not that much, and let me show you what I mean. Alright, this is just a short video I did using GNOME Shell with the updated ATI drivers. Now I got the color back and um, some of the fonts, but what you see here, this is a dialog box for the screencasting software. This is what I saw. What you see is what I got. It's basically totally unusable. Let me hit play. Now you're not seeing everything here, but this was jittery and when I click applications the menus didn't pop up and well now they did still very um, unstable the drivers helped but it didn't solve the issue and you know I'm starting to get the impression that the developers at Unity and GNOME Shell, although I will say this Unity is running very stable on my desktop, but I am starting to get the impression that the developers are basically saying, these are the changes, this is what we've done, and if you don't like this, you can go back to Windows 7. And if that's the case, my reply is, why thank you? I still enjoy Windows 7, and personally, I think right now, Windows 7 is kicking your guys, you know what? My opinion, and I'm probably going to have more to say about this on the next uh, Tosscasts podcast, so you may want to stick around for that one. But for this, that's all I have to say on this. Thank you again for your suggestions. It is greatly appreciated. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.